Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, Hashcat running on uh, an infrastructure with uh, GPUs. So I'm just going to show the initially show the setup that I've got here. Uh, so you'll see that I've got eight uh, Tesla K8 uh, GPUs to show you what they look like. Okay, so that's our Tesla K80, and it's got uh, four over four thousand CUDA cores and a dual GPU design. And you can see that it gives you massive throughputs. And there's an image of it there. Okay, so Hashcat is optimized so that it can actually use all these cores and run uh, the, the cracking and, uh, with processes in parallel. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just get rid of the, the pod file just to make sure that we're starting from scratch. Okay, so the pod file contains all the hashed uh, passwords that have been cracked. That have been cracked. So we'll just uh, run just a basic test, just to see what our hardware is, to see that uh, that Hashcat can actually see our graphics cards. And then there, then the that's them there. Okay, so we can see here. Uh, there's the the GPUs uh, using the NVIDIA CUDA uh, platform there. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll just we'll just do a quick benchmark, just to see what our tests are looking like. Okay, so the first one it's going to do is MD5 hash mode 0. So we do the minus M option and then we would define 0 for MD5. So it's just going to run some tests for us just now. Okay, and there we go. So that is 38 giga hashes per second. So you can see that the first device is given 5 uh, giga hashes. The next one is about 4.6 and so on. Okay, so we can go through each of the tests and benchmark each of the, the hashing methods. But we can see that we're nearly about 40 giga hashes. Uh, for SHA-1, it's even, even uh, it's about 14 giga hashes. Okay, so we'll just quit that. So the first one, first one we'll do is we'll look at uh, the NTLM hash, which is a Windows type type hash. So what I've done is I've, I've created some files and then I've exported into the correct format. So the first one is hello. Okay, and the NTLM hash is here, 6C660666D, D, and so on. So we'll just check that I've saved that, okay. And I have. Okay, so we're going to use a five character mask for this one. Okay, so that's lowercase, 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 lowercase. And we use that with a, a minus A3 to define our mask. So we'll just try that and see how long it's going to take. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so this is brute force that it's doing, but it's using a mask to actually do it. So it's just initializing the, the GPUs just now, and we shouldn't find that it'll take too long. Okay, and there we go. So it's managed to do that, and uh, it's done it in zero seconds. It's so so trivial that it's, uh, it's, it's done it in a fraction of a second. So in this next one, what I've done,
done is I've created a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's an 8 character uh, hashed password. I've stored in this, this file here. And the string I've used is this. Okay, so this will show you how weak 8 character passwords are. Okay, so it's now going to go through uh, eight lowercase letters. Uh, so we can look at the status, but it's already done it. So there we go there. So it uh, again, it's done it in in less than a less than a second. And it's cracked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's cracked eight character uh, password. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go for a longer one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll add a number on to the end. So we'll go for a D here. And I think I've stored that here. Okay, so that's an eight character password with a number at the end. Okay, so it's now eight characters and a number. check if we want it. Let's see how it's done it. And it's, it's done it. Okay. So again, less than a second. It's a nine uh, character mask. Okay, so we'll go for a little longer one this time. So this one has two numbers at the end. See how long this takes. Okay, so we can see it's taken again less than a second to get that one. And now for this one, there are three characters at the end. There's three numbers at the end. Okay, so this one again, time estimated only took only took about a second to run, but it's managed to get that one. Okay, so that's eight characters, low or like lowercase characters, and then one, two, three at the end. Uh, so for the next one, uh, let's say there's a uppercase letter at the start. So this time we use uh, a U for uppercase. So this will go through the uppercase letters and then try all the other ones for lowercase and then one, two, three at the end. Okay, and you can see that it's easily uh, cracked that one. I'm going to do the same, but this time we can make it upper or lower case with an A and we've got to just let me remove the port file and we'll try again ok 
Okay, so this is uh, searching for upper and lowercase for the first character. Eight characters and then three numbers at the end. Uh, so it's given a status, but you can see it's already done it. So there you go. It's done it in uh, two seconds. So it's taken a little bit longer. Uh, so now we'll try something a bit more difficult. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine characters. This is when it gets a bit more, a bit more difficult. Uh, so if we look at our calculator, then uh, twenty-six to the power of eight uh, divided by, and I think we're looking at something like say twenty gig. We can see that uh, the whole key space for for eight characters is, is 10 seconds so that's our maximum time if we now try 9 26 to the power of 9 and divide by say 10 gig now it's taken longer okay so you can see the big difference between eight and nine characters but it should tell us how long this is going to take so in this case we'll give it a try so first thing we'll do is we'll try it with nine characters so let's go for um, hello, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, make a capital H. So we'll give that a go. So we're using nine characters. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we named it there. Okay, so this is a lot more challenging. Big difference between eight and nine. So we'll just give that a try. And this time what we'll get is a, a little status a menu option just so that we can actually keep a track of it. Okay, So you can see here that it's uh, taken some time to do this. So we'll look at the status and the status should tell us roughly how it's long it's going to take. So in this case it's going to take 18 minutes estimated for the, the, the total time to to crack this okay so I just I just quit just now so you can see that it, it really doesn't take that that long to search that space and then for this last one this one will take much longer uh, because this is nine characters and then another three numbers we should get our status coming up okay so it's becoming a bit more challenging for us now but we'll just see how long this one is going to take and this one is going to take 13 days okay so 13 days for nine characters and three numbers that's how long it's going to take on this GPU okay so 
That's just giving you an example of how we can use Hashcat on a GPU infrastructure.